Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, covering new PC releases for the week of January 7th to the 13th. In this video, I'll also be discussing any of these games that I plan to cover in this week's content. Let's begin with Monday, we saw the release of Kentucky Route Zero, an indie adventure game about a secret highway in the caves beneath Kentucky. And this is actually a title that was nominated for the McNally Grand Prize at the 2013 IGF Awards. It's got a very interesting art style and it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to checking out. Uh, that should be expected either sometime this evening or tomorrow. I'll be having a video for Kentucky Route Zero. And if you're interested in the game, it is available for $7 on the official website. I'll give you guys a link in the description below. Also on Monday, we saw a couple of uh, DLC bits for F1 Race Stars, the family-friendly kart racing game from Codemasters. Uh, we saw the Canada track, China track, and India track. Unfortunately, each one of these tracks individually cost $4.99, which is a bit ridiculous to me that they're trying to charge this much for an individual track in a family kart racing game. But I guess this harkens back to my initial judgment of F1 Race Stars, and that was that the game costs way too much. It's a pretty basic and somewhat mildly entertaining game, but it's very simplistic, and the initial cost of the game was around $50 or $60, which was way too much as far as I was concerned. And the fact that they're trying to charge $5 for for an individual track, I think that's also a little bit ridiculous. We also saw some DLC for War of the Roses, the medieval combat game, some armor sets, the Lancaster armor set and York armor set, each of which are going for $1.99. I actually never ended up doing a video on War of the Roses, but I did enjoy the game. Not as much as I enjoyed Chivalry, the comparable medieval combat game, but I still think it's not a bad title, and I'm really happy to see that they're continuing to support this game. I think it was just a few weeks ago they came out with some winter DLC adding new maps, and now that they're adding new armor sets, I mean, it's good to see that support from developers, so if you play War of the Roses, definitely give those armor sets a look. Today on Tuesday, we saw the release of Primal Fears, an isometric co-op action game from German developer DNS Development. I tried to do a first 40 video covering this game. <laughs> I couldn't make it all the way through. I just thought it was absolutely terrible. Uh, the biggest problem that I had with this game is that the combat was super repetitive and very, very boring, just not fun. Repetitive combat isn't necessarily the end of of the world, but boring repetitive combat. That was pretty much the uh, dagger to the heart here for Primal Fears. I think I ended up getting like 25 minutes to the game before I just said I've had enough of this and stopped the video. So that video will be coming out. It's not a full first 40. It's only about 25 minutes, but that should give you a good idea as to my general impressions on Primal Fears. If you're interested in the game, it is available for $9.99 on Steam. And finally, for new releases this week, we're going to be seeing Journey Down Chapter 1 released tomorrow. This is a point-and-click adventure game following the lives of two gas station workers. This was developed by Sky Goblin. You know, funny enough, there's actually, uh, yesterday evening, a ton of tweets went out from this guy giving away Steam promos for this game. Basically, they're just trying to promote this game. They, they sent me a message, they sent a bunch of other YouTubers a message, and they also sent uh, some gaming publications, some major sites like IG for example, I think I saw, I think I saw them send a tweet too. But uh, the point is that I've got a Steam key for this game as part of their promotion, trying to get this out to people to take a look at it. So I will take a look at it now, based on the screenshots and the gameplay footage that I've seen. I don't know that I'm going to be interested in this game. I, I can't say that I'm going to like it, but I'll give it a look. I'll let you guys know what I think. I could be surprised. I mean, who knows? I really didn't think I would ever like any point and click adventure game, but I went into The Walking Dead and it turned out to be one of my games of the year. So maybe Journey Down Chapter 1 will actually be interesting. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll be finding out soon. So again, expect a video for, from me on that game sometime later this week. And that's going to do it for new releases here on the PC this week of January 7th to the 13th. I also just want to let you guys know what else is going on in terms of content. I've made two videos this week for Warframe, which is a cooperative third-person shooter game, a free-to-play game nonetheless, that's a heck of a lot of fun. If you haven't checked out that first 40 that I did, definitely give that a look. I also did about a 12-minute video, a much shorter video, just covering a single match of the co-op. That was insanely fun, and you should look at that just to see how enjoyable the co-op experience in this game is. It actually really blows my mind that there's such a quality third-person shooter that's free, 
that you guys are going to be able to just hop in and play with your friends and not have to spend a dime. I mean, that's that's absurd to me. I still have the complaint of uh, repetition of rooms throughout the ships in the game, basically the various levels. They use a lot of the same areas over and over again. But it's a free co-op shooter, and it, the game plays a lot of fun. So uh, definitely a decent game. Definitely gives my seal of, gets my seal of approval because of its pricing model and because it is overall pretty entertaining. Um, I also plan to still do my top five games of 2013. Hopefully sooner rather than later. I would like to get that video out this week. Um, I, I pretty much know what those games are, but I want to I want to make a good quality video for you guys, just like I did my top five games of 2012. And just to be clear here, those are my top five most anticipated games of 2013, <laughs> because so far, I mean, this week is actually the first week we're really seeing new releases in this year, so if I were trying to do my top five list now, that'd be a little absurd. Um, also, we are still planning to do the Elder Scrolls Online cast. Now, that is tentatively scheduled for later this week, either Thursday or Friday. It's really going to come down to uh, us getting free time together. Of course, it's supposed to be me and Jesse Cox, and uh, we're both relatively busy, so we'll have to see if we can get our schedules to mesh up for a particular time on a particular day and hopefully try to make that a weekly or bi-weekly thing. And then of course the force feed that will be picking back up today. I was unable to do an episode yesterday because we had some rendering difficulties. I spent all afternoon rendering a video and it just failed right near the end and then I tried it a second time and it failed again. This took up a lot of my time and was very frustrating so I never got around to coming up with the news for yesterday but we'll be getting back on track later today so you should expect a force feed sometime after this video and that's going to do it guys for this week's update of new pc releases as well as planned content thank you so much for watching as always if you like the content please subscribe keep watching and keep owning